Ever since Dearborn has become a significant city, traffic congestion has been an issue in the area. As over 100,000 people worked at the Ford Rouge plant in its early decades, commuters from all over the Detroit area flooded local streets before the city even fully developed. One of the first strategies used to manage traffic was winding roads to four lanes and constructing rudimentary highway interchanges at the junction of major roads. The Wayne County Road Commission referred to these improved roads such as Telegraph and Michigan Avenue as super highways. In other areas, the Wayne County Road Commission acquired land and built new roads like Rotunda Drive to handle increased traffic. During World War II, Dearborn and Metro Detroit residents had to travel longer distances to commute to plants building war materials. Traffic heading to the Willow Run Bomber Plant particularly threatened to congest Dearborn area roads. As a result, from 1942 through 44, the Willow Run and Detroit Industrial Expressways were constructed from the Ypsilanti area to as far east as Michigan and Wyoming streets. After the war, these highways were extended into downtown Detroit between 1951 and 54. These predecessors of I-94 were narrower than the modern highway, and in more rural areas west of Romulus had at great intersections. Dearborn's other expressway, the Southfield, was an enlargement of previously existing Southfield Road. The highway was constructed in segments between 1961 and 1964. Very quickly, thanks to Ford traffic, the Southfield became one of the busiest expressways in the state. 